Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411 and we're back again. Uh, this is the second part of the message of the day, D's Divine Message of the Day. Of course, storage issues. We were on the Two of Cups and I was explaining how I met my queen for the very first time. She's since passed. Uh, we were together nine years and just about nine years. And you know, when we got back together, this was serendipity. God didn't let us come together until it was time. God said, okay, today's the day. So I was coming from a dance class. She was coming from her house. She was gonna play lotto and I was blessed enough to run into her. So we were both, she got out of her car. I didn't know it was her. And I'm walking up the parking lot. We both grabbed the door handle at the same time we both pulled and opened the door at the same time we both turned to look i could only see her profile from this side i said shannon she looked to turn slightly at mine she said d the whole world stopped y'all the whole world stopped i never felt time stop before only two times with her and this time it was evident she felt it too the whole world stopped we hugged we were like wow how you been uh we caught up after 20 years like and so we exchanged phone numbers and then i found out later on once i called her i was four houses down from her we live four houses down from each other and God's spirit would not let us see each other until the day that they said, okay, today's the day. She was literally four houses down from me. I walked to her house and I was like, this is where you live? I'm right here, four houses down, like in an apartment over here. I can't believe this. And that's how spirit works, y'all. So I had to share that story because serendipity is real. This is real. When you get this, this is from spirit and this is a past life or someone that you're meant to be with. This is a love like no other. I had it, so I know it exists and I won't let true love go. I know how powerful it is to have this. It's like this. You feel like this, you feel healing, you feel blessed, you feel thankful. It's abundance through and through. And this is that kind of relationship coming right to you if you don't have it already. I'm so happy for y'all. Next card we got, and this is a collective message. The Eight of Wands. So this is all about divine spirit coming, moving, swift, fast in our favor. This is swift moving spiritual energy in our favor. We've been using these wands to use our magic to get things done and complete them. But this is spirit giving us help in the matter. So we got spiritual divine favor and movement in, on our side. So that's a blessed card to get. You're getting a lot of blessed blue cards. Wow. Sky's the limit. Next card we got. Yeah, I know all about this. I'm struggling right now. Uh, with the system money, the fiat money to pay our bills and eat. And this is all about, you know, struggling and not seeing your worth and going through the snow. This could be a relationship that's been struggling, but God wants to take you out of this. Spirit wants to take you out of this so you can see what you truly deserve. This is the relationship you truly deserve. Sometimes we're in broken relationships that we need to change. Sometimes we're just hurting on, on our relationship and we need help. So spirit knows what we need. We need to go within, ask for sanctuary, ask for blessings, ask for help. And God will provide it through other people. You guys have been blessing me with tips and donations and getting private readings from me. And that's how I'm able to sustain and keep on doing tarot. So if you guys could help anybody that can donate, send tips, that would go a long way. You just go to one of the PayPal, Venmo, Cash App buttons, click that and donate. That would be a great help. Or just reach out to me for a private reading. These are just general readings. So if you need more clarity on the situation, I'm here for y'all. But this is this is it. This is over. This is means to an end to go here. See the difference? They are looking at each other. They know each other's worth. They're offering that cup of love to one another. And it's the deepest love you can offer. There's no other card like this, not even the lover's card. They're looking at each other directly. I love this card. And that just means soulmate, twin flame, the one you're meant to be. This will be a thing of the past. Struggling in that relationship. Maybe it's a past relationship or maybe it's the relationship you're 
you're in now, but it's meant to go to a higher stage, a better stage in life. Next card we got High Priestess. So this is, look at all these blue, beautiful cards. This is all about your spiritual connection to spirit, your divine connection to spirit, to God, your ancestors, and your guardian angels. This is like a spiritual spidey sense you can see right through people and things and situations so you have the power you have the power you need to know all that you need to know and trust all you need to trust because spirit is going to bring you this and you can use your spiritual intuition your spiritual discernment to see and know you deserve better than this. So God knows you deserve better than this. So you can trust God that he's going to take you out of this. Okay. Moving on. Beautiful, beautiful, powerful cards. You got some major arcanas here. Wow. The devil. So this is about a relationship tied to a devil or going to extremes in a relationship. And God wants to balance you out. This is about getting balanced. This is both of these are to an extreme. You're not seeing your sanctuary. You're not seeing what you need to. You're tied to something outside of you externally instead of your spiritual nature. And it's got you to an extreme, be it drinking, be it the relationship, be it work. Something is to an extreme. And it's got you guys here because you're not seeing your work. And it's time to do the spiritual work to get out of this devil energy that's why you got this connect with god today because you got that power and you're very strong super strong you're super powerful spiritually go ahead and connect and get your power charged charge up from spirit next card we got seven of cups so this is all about not being sure you got a lot of options all of us got some options to choose from so this is about choosing wisely don't choose something that you'll regret choosing impulsively you want to choose something that'll last the test of time or something you'll be with, happy with later as opposed to something quick and trivial you want something of substance and that'll last okay next card we got wow the we did it card so this is where you're going from this five from this jive to feeling happy and alive, this is what we want. This is the five, this is the four, and this is all about the we did it. So even though this is the five of pentacles, they're not seeing their worth, you're bouncing back up in the back to the future with the four of wands and using your magic for a milestone in your life. That's what I mean when I said spirit is coming to help you and give you spiritual favor to get you out of this, take you here really fast. Beautiful. So y'all got some beautiful cards for the collective. Next card we got. It's the Empress. This is what we all want. The Superwoman. This is what I want. I won't settle for anything less than her. And look, you got her and the High Priestess. This is, <laughs> you can't beat this woman. This is one of the best women in the world. <laughs> her right here, she's spiritually connected. And she's the wisest woman of the tarot. She's a superwoman. And to have both of these powers like this is just showing you how powerful this empress is. So if you're about to get her, you better treat her correctly because she'll be out. She knows her worth and she deserves the best. Go ahead, empresses out there. Goodness gracious. Okay, next card we got. It's the page, so you're feeling new, you're feeling fresh and new opportunities and new situations, new blessings coming in. Summer's about to be here around the corner on the 21st for the solstice, so any opportunities, check them out. Make sure it's something you do want, but all in all, you're feeling new and fresh and all opportunities coming towards you, be it career or love. Next card, the Emperor. We got the Emperor and the Empress, the two wisest of the deck, the two most powerful. This is a this is saying everything about this reading, y'all. This is what we're all attaining, trying to attain to, to be the wisest, most powerful people that we can be within ourselves. We only self-governing of ourselves, no one else. And to be these two, this just shows how blessed and how powerful we are right now. And to step up into these roles, the emperor and empress roles, because this is who we should be trying to attain to. This is true power through and through. You can't get higher than these two. This is the biggest, most powerful couple you'll ever see. And this is what we're going towards. Be it within yourself or your marrying the masculine 
divine masculine, divine feminine, like the first card you got <laughs> here, that would be this. Marrying the divine feminine and the masculine within, and this is how you become most powerful. But this is also could be a real marriage, a real coming together if you're not together already. And it's divine, blessed by God. Woo! Woo! Look at that empress. Oh, fine. Next card we got. All right, the Knight of Swords. So this could be you charging, charging towards an opportunity or someone charging towards you for an opportunity. Nice spring opportunity. Looks like it's going to be a blessed opportunity coming in for a leap of faith. It's the bottom of the deck card. And then where they want to take you is the Ten of Pentacles, which is the happy, happy ever after, the divinely protected, divinely connected card. This could be retirement. This could be, you know, this this is what we are all trying to do is get to this Ten of Pentacles, take a leap of faith. And look, that's exactly what I've done. I've taken a leap of faith to get this. So I know it's coming to me because I'm doing the steps to get here. This is a big jump from Rockford, Illinois to Hawaii. <laughs> big jump. And look, this is what I'm going after, and I know I'm going to get it, and so will you. So beautiful read today, y'all. I know it's a long one, but hey, sometimes spirit brings messages short. Sometimes they come in long, but we'll take all the messages we can get in clarity and insight. So thank y'all so much. I'm glad I was able to do this reading for y'all. It's the second part. Uh, I came to the beach to finish it. You know, it got nicer than it was before. And here we are, y'all. So I hope you enjoy this beauty. Let me go ahead and give y'all a tour. What I see right here. All this beauty. This is God money, y'all. Freely given. Abundance. Like I said, I'm not rich. I don't have a lot of money. But I soak up the God money. All the blessings that God gives us. The sun, the oceans, the trees. All these beautiful flowers and animals around us. Is blessings so that's the real God money so is knowledge so is truth and so is love and so is spirit God money God money milk and honey never hungry skies are sunny even when you sad make you laugh what's funny the feeling that you get like everything's okay in the middle of your storm is peace meditate God money milk and honey never hungry skies are sunny even when you sad make you laugh what's funny the feeling that you get like everything's okay in the middle of your storm is peace meditate thank you all so much blessings blissfulness peace and love bye y'all